What's up, Bottom Nation? Ah, that was a lot. That was a big. That was a big wind up to not much here. Ah, uh, Nashville and Atlanta might be sold out at this point. Sacramento, we've got some tickets. Raleigh, Denver, San Francisco. You're really letting me down. This is crazy. You should be number one. Um, yeah, come come to a show, AshleyGavin.com, or sign up for one to two emails from me or texts from me a year at my website. There's also a number. I can't remember it right now. And then today, we have Young Me Mare, a fan favorite. She is back. She is the host, co-host of Feeling Asian Podcast and her new podcast, Harry Butthole. This woman is so goddamn funny. I love her so much. On this episode, we get into the very funny topic of having great, great, great sex with someone that you absolutely cannot stand. <laughs> it's a great episode. Kate's got uh, their website live, katesis.com. Go check out their page for their shows. I know they've got one coming up at Union Hall called the Luke Ass Spectacular. This audio note's too long. Have a great week, Bottoms. Listener, did you notice that I actually am kind of nailing it today, despite the fact that I haven't had coffee yet? Come on, I listed all those tour dates. That was incredible. You know why? Because I'm sleeping on a Helix mattress, you dumb bitch. You should know this by now. You should be able to predict what I'm going to say. That's how much I love and rant about my Helix mattress. I've had it for almost two years now. It's the best sleep that I ever got. I will never go back to the other mattresses that I've used. Helix, it's for me, it's my forever. It's the one. My Helix is the one. And the reason my Helix is so good is that it's customized for me. I took their sleep quiz on their website. Took two minutes. I put in that I have lower back pain, uh, that I tend to sleep on my stomach, and it spat out the correct mattress for me it can accommodate all of your needs just head over to helixsleep.com take that two minute quiz and then you'll be matched with the perfect mattress and don't just take it from me helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by gq and wired magazine and it has been recommended by leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep as a go-to solution for improving sleep and not only that you get a 10-year warranty you get to try it out for 100 nights too risk-free they'll even pick it up for you if you don't Love it, all right? They have financing options, so a great night of sleep is never far away. Right now, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash gay sex. Head on over, helixsleep.com slash gay sex. Go have gay sex and sleep in this bed, listeners. I'm going to be very vague because I don't want this person to be like, <laughs> there's a very good chance that they're listening right now. Blocked on everything. It's okay. Um <laughs> It wasn't necessarily like I had that deep like emotional connection with them, but like the sex was just like insane. I remember one time they were sitting on the couch. I was just like on top of them. We were making out and I so hard. Are you serious? All my clothes on, all their clothes on. And I'm now I'm like just chasing the dragon. You know, I'm just like, <laughs> what? I want that again. Why do you have to block them on everything? Because of their personality. <laughs> <laughs> It like messes with your brain when you're scrolling through and it's a bunch of stuff like, I love you, you're the best. And then it's like, oh, I'm going to kill your family <laughs> while you're so, when you're but sleeping you, tonight. You experience it in a different way because I'm, yeah. I'm just in my little bubble. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's just gay. If I get anything negative, it's coming from a listener who feels betrayed. Okay. You get that sounds worse. racist, crazy white supremacists yelling yeah. at you. I don't get homophobes yelling at me ever. Why not? Oh, you, Why you not? Get though the women aren't funny crowd. I get the women. I get the women aren't. I get funny teenagers. Crowd. But that's so funny. <laughs> that's I, I get a lot of. I, I get a lot of those like nineteen year old like men's rights, and they're. I think they're. Fa they love being like you're not funny, and then they love being like I would never f you, and it's like, first of all, <laughs> first of all, yes, you would. <laughs> like. <laughs> that's shut true. the f up that's well true. i mean i made a video i made a tiktok about it i'm like second of all yeah i don't want to have three minute sex with you either you know like <laughs> you're just rubbing this like this part of my leg because you think that's where the c this is where the c is right <laughs> like, is it here i got it like it's just like i don't want to do that either <laughs> right and yeah. i'm like why does that it's it's weird how men are like i have no use for you go away like that yeah you know, like, 
And that's your value, whether or not. Yeah. I'm sure I've said this on the podcast, but I like actually super enjoy some of the content my t- teenage trolls have made. <laughs> Because they'll duet. They'll duet oh, really? my videos. Oh, I want to see and that. And they'll cross their arms and they just like mean mug the camera. And they go like trying to laugh at feminist comedy, at lesbian comedy. And they just mean mug the camera. Like they're they're like watching the jokes and they're not laughing. And I'm like, that's hysterical. That is like, funny. This is that's so good. funny. It's like high art. <laughs> yeah. It- they're like <laughs> artists. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't even know that about themselves. <laughs> It's actually really... It's like, what if that was my... What if that was my performance art? I would go to comedy shows to sit in the front and like... <laughs> like, that would be really interesting. Like, if that was my thing. I, I did that every night. I do think it's super right? interesting, especially because I think the funniest part about it is if they actually went and saw the way that I make fun of gay people and, like, women. Yeah. Like, they, they in my like, way. Right, yeah. They would think it was funny. It, that's the most interesting that thing interesting. about it is that... They think I'm this like woke spoken word. Poet. No, you're like sort of not woke. Yeah. You're on the cusp. <laughs> I'm on the woke. cusp. <laughs> Maybe not even on the cusp. You're fully like problematic. I am very <laughs> problematic. There's something that like I'm like Ashley's getting away with this because Ashley's a lesbian, but like <laughs> it's a little alt right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not alt right, but it's I alt left. I definitely I don't even know. it's alt left. I definitely right? say things. That a man could never say because, yeah. <laughs> but they would find funny. But they would find funny, yeah. and it's because, like, it's because people know I'm joking because I'm a woman, and I yeah. don't actually feel that way about women, or I don't actually feel that way about yeah queer people. Right? And the, you, the satire yeah. is assumed. The satire is assumed yeah. rather than people being like, "Does he mean this?" Right, They're right. like, "There's no yeah. way she could possibly mean this." And to be fair, I think that there have been very funny straight like male comedians in the past that do jokes like that as yeah. satire and and they are funny it's yeah just they like, are funny yeah it's just like now you just gotta be you gotta be careful with how you deliver it yeah you gotta be smarter trusts, you gotta be smarter yeah if the yeah, audience yeah, yeah. trusts you and you contextualize it as clearly satirical yeah people will laugh but if you don't people won't but i just you know what i think about that mean mugging duet thing it's just such classic abuse victim behavior. Like, just oh. like, because, you know, you know, like the patriarchy hurts men. And yeah. I think the thing about men is now it's like a fucking flex. If the less you feel, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the more like you, you never cry. I never cried. Like, I never cried more. It's like that, you know? Yeah. But it's just like. I never cried more. No, I didn't more. I did less <laughs> more. No, but you know, it's it's like when you're like a victim of like abuse, right? Mm. Like emotional abuse. And like the whole patriarchal system for men is set up like that. It's like the military. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to do everything yeah. bad to you. And your job is to not respond. Yeah. And, now, and then and then you get rewarded for that. And then you're an 18 year old making videos online where you're like, look at how little I feel. Right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of sad. That's why I actually never do it. I think they're so funny and I would love to do at them, but they're always children. And it's just like, I'm not doing this to kids. Like they're, yeah. they've got enough issues. I, mean, I don't feel that bad for them, but. You know. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm excited. Can no, we, I'm so happy if you don't know you. young me, go back and listen to her episode. You piece of shit. It's excellent. It's from last <laughs> April. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And she has a phenomenal podcast called feeling Asian totally with a uh, Brian Park blowing up right now. Blowing up for yeah. a while, and you're blowing up for a while. Glowing up, but never going anywhere. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard. I feel like <laughs> you said that last time. to go. <laughs> All blown up and nowhere no, to are. go. You know Thank what a you. professor said to me once that I absolutely loved. What? And then I want to get to Kate's Tell sexy, me. sexy haircut because I, I I've never been it in since you got here. <laughs> I need to hear this. I, I didn't go to college. So what? What? Tell me. This is how you get free college education. <laughs> Have all your friends go to college and then they <laughs> tell you the best parts that they like. And honestly, this is like you guys are going to make fun of what I'm about to say. What? Like this no. is classic, like people sitting in the quad being like, I heard this incredible thing from my political philosophy pr- professor. Tell me, what is it? Um, Shout out Dr. Elkins. <laughs> uh, he was like, a lot of times you feel like you're going in circles, mm. but you're actually ascending a spiral staircase. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like a screw. Yeah. You're getting screwed. You're getting screwed. You're getting screwed. <laughs> But trust me, I totally understand that feeling of like, yeah, I'm blowing up. Why doesn't anyone know? Why doesn't anyone <laughs> say, do anything? Why is nothing happening? I'm blowing yeah. up and no one cares. Yeah. I mean, no, it's it's weird because I feel like, well, I have a, this is, I'm, I don't even know. What, what are we even here to talk about? Can I, sure. can I just go like alt left here? Yeah, go alt left. <laughs> 
Um, I'm sure the listeners will appreciate that. I I actually thought about that the other day, like how everything in life is like, it's like a circle, you know, even like the seasons and your life. And it's kind of like, just because I'm older now too, I'm like, oh, like this shit is coming back. Like shit that's happening in my life will just come back over and over. And then next time around, I'm just like better at it or something. So I think everything in life sort of moves like that. That's why your teens and 20s are so fucking hard. It's horrible, isn't it? It's the first time you're dealing with. All I did was just not laugh at jokes (laughs) on my, I'm better at not laughing. (laughs) Like that's all I did. Yeah. So yeah. Well, Kate got a big haircut. I haven't seen you in a long time, so I thought that's what your hair looked like. No? <laughs> what did had, it look I like before? I had big curly mop all around. There was a period of the butchering. Oh, the butchering? I, did, I got butchered. I got, <laughs> as Ashley described it, an absolute hate crime of a, hot, of a haircut. <laughs> Wait, I somebody went... did that to you? <laughs> it was my first haircut. It was so post- bad. It, it was the most like gay Karen thing you've ever seen in your Can entire life. Can I see life. a picture? It was so bad. I tr- Okay, so th- I... Uh, I don't have any good pictures of it because the other day when I went to the salon, the only picture I could find of how horrible it was because I kept wearing a hat because it was so horrific. You're like, don't do this. So I literally said, I got this haircut and I hated it, but it was a picture of me in the hospital. And I was like, sorry, in this picture, I was in the hospital, not because of the haircut. And everyone fucking cracked up. And I was like, you killing it. Don't you fucking love it when you make (laughs) random people laugh? Like real people. I made my podiatrist laugh. (laughs) today yeah oh really <laughs> yeah it's a good feeling. oh what did i say uh anyway I, I won't tell it but i really i really fucking murdered at the podiatrist today i feel like wow. there's so o- old. open foot insert <laughs> or open mouth insert foot or other you know that saying you that's to, what you said you want to go do a set no <laughs> or you know what you know so what i noticed about doctors though is that they a lot of times you'll get like a razzly dazzly one out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of them there's like bleh, like they have a little fucking act that yes. they do yes and it's like okay i <laughs> encountered I think all professions there are people who have a set that they do with their with their customer <laughs> they have facing. a little fucking set a yeah, little like a blah, 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 and it's like it's always like a little too theatery yeah and it's just like and then you're like ha 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 this should be a little more grounded ha, ha. dr larson I, <laughs> yeah i'm not buying this like what whatever you're selling when dr. i was larson. a kid i had a, a physical with a doctor who was not my usual doctor which was very upsetting to me and my mom was in the room and it was this kind of like older woman and she was a razzle or dazzler. She had all these little sayings about wearing your helmet and let's hit your knee with the hammer. And then she goes, all right, let's take a look at that China. And I just looked at my mom and was like, get me the fuck no, out of here. I, like this. I China. cannot do this. I saw someone fucking <laughs> murdering at the TSA. <laughs> Like a TSA agent? Just, yeah, just talk about get the stuff out of your bags, Yeah, yeah, she had a bit for fucking everything that could possibly be in your bag. When TSA nice. people are funny, they're really funny. Doctors, I don't know why. They're never funny. It's no. always weird. It's really it's like not the place for may- Yeah, maybe it's like the situation. Like any other scenario, I'd be okay with this fucking corny ass, whatever the hell this is. But like, I'm, <laughs> is, I'm in a room... I don't have pants on. Yeah, yeah you're so <laughs> right. Raw it's, fucking vagina yeah. on the paper seat. You're like, I've got a goop that I need to get looked into. Can you like <laughs> hurry this up? There's a goop on the paper seat. <laughs> ha ha. And that, now I'm like fake laughing at your seat. <laughs> like, it is so weird. Bad. Your feet are in the stirrups. You're like, can you just get in there, please? <laughs> um, dude, people are talking about your haircut. I don't know if they're sliding into your DMs yet. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of positive feedback and I'm very appreciative. Look how I'm trying to I'm trying to get Kate to I, fucking flex right now. I just people wanna, wanna know. What? People wanna fuck Kate. I have Come to on. see what it looked like before. Is there proof online on the Yeah, internet? yeah. This was when it was grown out of control. I I hadn't gotten haircut yet. Dude, this it was person, a nightmare. I got basically you ever see like I'm gonna a lesbian like walk out of her Subaru into a Chili's? <laughs> And then she starts like talking to people as if she's the manager there, but she's not the manager. She's just like a lesbian who knows a lot about chilies. That so you you are allowed to say that. You're allowed to say that. <laughs> but that's what every like man wants to say. <laughs> um, what I was getting at with yes. with Kate's sexy sexy haircut is. Someone posted in the Discord, the We're Having Gay Sex Discord, whatever it is. I'm not even sure what it is at this point. Some sort of queer community. I'm not sure. (laughs) Some sort of loving, empathetic environment. Someone posted. Nothing, no discussion. Oh, no. Kate, Kate looks hot and sexy. (laughs) And it it was so funny. Kate, Kate is hot and sexy, I think is what it was. And I was just like, oh, man, I know the DMs are wild. Please just... 
please just. I are know you getting you're DMs? So loyal to are Chelsea. you getting DMs? You're so appropriate. You never say anything wrong. You are. Just give me yeah. one funny DM about your haircut. <laughs> Just give me one. People I want to sit on your face. Your I don't know. Oh yeah. No, there was no sit. There was no face sitting. I think they know to behave. I know they're 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 pretty good. <laughs> when when I was in a relationship, they're they're pretty good about being yeah. thoughtful about it. I don't know. It was very Ooh. sweet. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of hunk and stud and handsome. It's like very very nice. Is it graphic or is it just no like no? Sweet? It's just okay, like okay. sweet. Yeah. There was. Listener, I've only gotten one graphic one. Let's and give I Kate did, something raunchy. <laughs> no, please. Listener. Stop. No, please do not. Consent is important, and I I give consent no, for you no. to slide into. No, no, the sweet the sweet messages of affection are very are very nice. Fine, and let's keep it at that. that. I feel like that would be almost harder for me to deal with than Ron sweetness. G. Yeah, because I'm like, <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> It's like embarrassing. It's like if someone sends you to like a weird sexual freaky thing, you're like, all right, calm down. But it's just like something like heartfelt. I'm like, oh no, now I'm in love. Oh no, you won't be. No. Um, it's mostly it's primarily heartfelt for me and uh anyway. Uh let's get into it. We're in the apartment, we're having gay sex. We're having gay sex with a fan fave. A me fave. Probably a Kate fave. Oh yes, definitely a Kate fave. Do is this soundboard? We're not gonna hear it, but it's gonna Okay. Edit out Kate's voice on that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh hilarious comedian, podcaster, internet comedian, um, very apt, sharp social commentary, and just a really funny thoughtful person young me mayor everybody hi hi everyone i'm here in the apartment last time i I was over zoom yeah now it's it's so much better in person i think i i agree zoom is awkward there's always that lag and you're like yeah "Uh, you go you know yeah and and (laughs) talking over people and feeling bad about it but you weren't talking over them when it started yeah you know anyway i am ashley gavin cis gay white woman i almost said person maybe maybe Mm -hmm. my gender is shifting maybe it's not she, her pronouns, AshleyGavin.com for tour dates all over. Please use it. Um, <laughs> and do you play any sports growing up? Volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to riff. I'm going to do something on okay. your haircut. Okay. You want to do something on their haircut. <laughs> <laughs> something about the playing field. Um, so are you, we making a sports? Yeah. yeah. About- we're do a playing field. Uh, the playing field isn't equal anymore. <laughs> Because Kate got a haircut <laughs> and Kate is hot and sexy. <laughs> My cancel coach to keep me from getting canceled. Fat in the chat. Kate Sis. Hey, everybody. It's me, Kate Sis, the cancel coach, the fat in the chat. I'm a white bisexual lesbian dyke. Any pronouns? Yeah, any shows coming up? Yes. I've got the Lucas Spectacular at Union Hall on thursday may 26th it's gonna be awesome i'm hosting it in my in, in drag brooklyn. in brooklyn yes i'm hosting it in my drag persona luke ass and we're gonna have comedians musical performers drag kings uh everything we're gonna have all kinds of shit on the show it's gonna and be they should fun. come to the first one because if it gets sold out then they'll give you a second one yes it's super important that i sell the first one out uh we got 100 seats so act quick because hopefully they'll go fast my gender of the week, as submitted by the listeners. Hot and sexy. <laughs> Apparently hot and sexy. And also someone sent me a nice photo of these two big, burly Scottish men in their kilts holding hands and walking their dogs. <gasps> and I was like, that's very, yeah, that's, you, very, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very spot on. So thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> Do you mind introducing yourself with whatever um, comes to mind? All right. Hi, I'm Young Me Mayor. I, um, I'm queer and I'm Korean. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, wait, wait. This is the part that needs the laughing horn the laugh or track. whatever. Yeah. And I'm also half white. <laughs> you want it laughter? Do, like, do, like, do like, wah, wah. That, oh, we one. Have we that. Have that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm also, I'm, I'm half white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wah, did wah. <laughs> I love that's like you know how we were talking about how all men have that joke. It's like if I look like John Travolta, if he was a lesbian or whatever. Yeah. I used to do this. I used to do this like intro joke where because I would get on a lot of like comedy festivals for Asians. Yeah, and I'd be like, ah, oh, I'm Korean, but I'm half white. Like I snuck in here. Yeah, yeah. Like a white person. <laughs> I'm making this about me. <laughs> you know what's interesting is what? like from my perspective as a white person. I, I feel like there's like got to be some cascading rules about 
like wh whiteness i just can't see i know people do because i've like watched your videos yeah about how people relate to your quote-unquote whiteness mm -hmm. but i can't see like a stranger perceiving you as as white like that would be but i know this oh, is like well like okay so that happens to me but it only happens to me online let me try to think about all the time that that's happened to me i feel like well because you know if you're biracial a lot of people you fall on like all all different levels of the scale like yeah. places like some people look very white passing some people look very asian or whatever you know or whatever race you're mixed with but i look very asian i i think and so all my life i've gotten a lot of like oh i thought you were just korean and i didn't know you were biracial but recently online I have been getting a lot of like Asian people telling me that I'm white passing and I'm not allowed. Seriously? Yeah, I'm not allowed to talk about Asian issues. Ugh. And I think there's like, that that's like a so whole. Well, I mean, it's, it's interesting because I was talking to my friend who's also biracial and he was like, well, like I learned pretty, he's a lot older, not a lot older. I'm not, he's really old. I'm young. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like he's a little older. You're, what are you, 13, 14? I'm, I I'm, got your mom's I'm 17. paperwork to, for I'm you 17 to be here. and I never laugh at anything. <laughs> <laughs> not women aren't funny. No. Um, You're right. Yeah. He was like, he's like. That's why oh. we have Kate here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be the, I can't host this by myself. <laughs> Carrying this on your shoulders. That's why Kate. we hired Alex. <laughs> We're just very sad. And, um, so he said something. He said, well, I discovered that my race is in the eye of the beholder. So then I'm like, what? Like when people are like, you, you're white passing. I'm like, huh? But I'm like, yeah, I guess that's like how you're perceiving me, you know? And mm -hmm. I sort of like, that's not my identity, but it's like, I under, you know, I understand whatever. It's weird. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating stuff interesting um well thanks for being here you gotta go check out feeling asian it's a very important podcast in addition to just being funny um and i love the topic when is this episode coming out i don't know when you want to probably sooner uh, well, rather because, than later uh, we have the person one of the people from love is blind <gasps> yo yeah whoa the korean woman natalie i'm not Please don't, no spoilers, because I'm, I'm not, not, not gonna, you haven't watched it? I'm not through with the whole thing yet. No, and no I fucking love Love is Blind. <laughs> Wait, what episode are you on? I don't remember. Okay, so I, we, ha we had her on. That is dope. That's exciting. You haven't even seen the reunion? No. Please. It's so straight. <laughs> I, I know. I can't believe you watch it, because it's so straight. I love straight. I love reality. I just love you're, reality you're dating You're Bachelor, shows. Bachelorette. Wow. I love all love of it. Island. It's so, like, I am. I have formally decided I am going to go after ITV who makes Love Island and we're going to make Les Island. I'm going to make this happen. You need that's that's amazing. We need that show. Les Yesterday. Island. If you don't know my con if you fucking steal. You know what? I'm not even putting it out there any again. <laughs> Someone's going to steal it. It's too good. So let's make one billion dollars. The whole thing with I with ITV is they were like, it's logistically impossible to have a gay Love Island. And I was like, no, Why? I solved it. How? I, because the, the whole thing is that. The power dynamic mm. is linked to the gender. The gender, each gender gets a different power, gets power each week. Just switch it to tops and bottoms and I you was solve the whole thing. Bottom. <laughs> That's what I was saying about love, I, uh, love is blind. Yeah. I was watching it with all the gays and we we're all like, man, this is so violently straight. <laughs> and then we were like trying to like figure out, we were like trying to figure out how do we make it work for the gay? Like we were trying to figure it's it so out. It's so easy. Just, I was like, tops and bottoms. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't have to be like a sexual thing. It can just be like, you know, whatever you're used to feeling like, you know, yeah. when the check goes well, down. Well, you could do the, the boy lesbians and the girl lesbians. <laughs> the boy, the, the boy non-genders. I, <laughs> like I when, actually, when I actually When you fill think, out the forms, like, what are you? Non, boy, boy, yeah, so boy non-gender. Non-binary. It's like, girl non-binary. <laughs> Have you seen that meme? And I actually like, think that <laughs> if you used the straight world's thoughts on gender as the guide for the program i, I actually successful. think it, i actually think it really works <laughs> yeah i think we could do but it you just make it like a you know whatever i'm i'm getting canceled right now let's get into the story is the story that i'm gonna i'm gonna we're gonna go around table i'm gonna ask you if you had gay sex this week you can talk about whatever the fuck you want from, <laughs> from any time period ever okay doesn't okay. even have to be gay doesn't have to be sex whatever if you have if you guys haven't figured this out yet it's not actually a sex and dating show. It's a comedy show, you idiot. I thought okay. it was going to get a bigger laugh. I'm oh. bombing. I'm bombing at the podiatrist right now. I'm just ready for your story. 
The story that I'm going to tell today, some yeah. of you might remember it because it was on a previous episode that got pulled. <gasps> but this is one of my favorite stories. So it made me really upset that it, it wasn't on the air anymore. Okay. And also, sometimes, Kate, there are stories that I just so desperately want to retell <laughs> to get your take on them because they're so fun and I want to tell you everything about my pussy. <laughs> and... We're ready. Okay, right. We're, so, I'm taking notes. Am so, I? <laughs> and you're going to relate to this, I think, this oh, story. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the most embarrassing thing that I've ever, like, done in bed. <gasps> and then also, like, it gets, like, extrapolated. It turned into, like, a thing. <laughs> so, do you like tribbing? Tribbing? Like, vagina to vagina stuff. Vagina to vagina. Yes, I do. <laughs> I didn't even know it's called Ding. tribbing. Why don't I know I didn't anything? know either until I met Ashley. I'm big. I'm big on rebranding like scissoring as tribbing, the proper term for right. it. it. Oh, okay. So so do people actually use tribbing? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I do. Okay. And I feel that I've br- I feel like I'm bringing it back. <laughs> I love that stuff. It's just like... Uh, oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's just go on with your story first. So this is the girl that I like discovered tribbing with. Oh. Like... She was the first girl that I, <laughs> this was the girl that I discovered. She's going to be a star. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this girl, she tribs like nothing you've ever seen before. She can trip on top of anything. A tabletop, a mountaintop, a muffin top. The girl can trip. <sighs> There's nothing she can't come on. Wow. That's true. So a muffin top. All right. I don't know how I, we, I feel like you were mentioning words and it, it's just making me like very it's sending me miles away and then i'm like having to come back like oh right 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 okay i'm back do you have a nice trip to seinfeld muffin land or to- muffin tops muffin tops yeah like delicious seinfeld, seinfeld. oh i didn't mean like my i didn't mean like my oh that's what i thought oh i thought that is a literal place you muffin could tops i thought of a like muffin blueberry muffin yeah oh, that's what i was thinking i thought of the fat roll all right okay For obvious can, reasons well, wait, wait, you want I me to call her up <laughs> I want for some reason I have this feeling that I want to like digest the whole story. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like just just tell us the story. Well, there's pieces. <laughs> okay. You're okay. Like, can you move the fuck on? Just hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> hurry. Honestly, sometimes I just need to hear it, and this one's too much of a little bottom bitch. To tell me. Um, you're attracted to men. All right. So I. <laughs> can... I love when other podcasters are here. It's so much more fun. Whoops. Okay. So uh we like had been messing around in bed like trying to figure it out and then one day we did it on the couch this is the first person you did this with yeah right yeah. right okay. after college i was living in boston and we discovered that we could both come that way like at the same wow. time oh. simultaneously fun nice and i think specifically the way that we did it it was such our bodies i don't know if it was that we were the same height like i don't know like mm. i feel like there's a like, like the tilt of your pelvis there's a lot of things that you go never know it. you just like sometimes you like are with somebody and like something works and you're like wow this is like this is working yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you there's never any there's no way there's to no like physics yeah there's, there's no, no way to reason maybe there is but there's like no way to find out what yeah. it was you right. know what I mean? <laughs> you can't bring in an expert i mean listener write in tell me if you want me to watch and try and figure it out but nope okay so (laughs) so we were but the it really felt like her clit was hitting my pubic bone Mm, and my i'm so much more comfortable talking about the first time i talked about this i was like beet red (laughs) now i'm dead inside (laughs) i just made eye contact with alex which i think might have been a crime (laughs) my clit i think was like kind of poking a little bit into her vagina the littlest mm. tiny bit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. okay and i think that almost created like a suction oh nice it was awesome here's the embarrassing part oh. so oh no she really liked it when we would come at the same time yeah okay and i don't know how it started but it <laughs> definitely started with her oh no she really liked it when we did like <laughs> there's a vacuum this story is getting a little spicy started. i had to put my dick in the vacuum perfect timing that the vacuum the guy vacuum, came just vacuum. when i needed him <laughs> she's talking about suction i'm talking about suction feeling so uncomfortable because <laughs> like your discomfort is making because i feel like i never get embarrassed when i talk about sex but i'm like sweating tell me <laughs> so, i'm so nervous okay she really liked she liked like breed like breeding talk oh like i'm gonna get you pregnant yeah no like i was gonna get her pregnant right so she really liked it. She really liked like, oh, like put a baby in yeah. me. Yeah. I, 
I can see why you're embarrassed, but it's you know what? <laughs> I can see why I, you're. I mean, because you like, absolutely should be embarrassed. Um, no, you. I'm not saying that, but like I can see why. But like I feel like it's pr- it's very. I feel like it's like super common. But it's a very common. It felt. Kink. I'm gonna be honest. Like I got into because I'm like a giver and I love just doing what other people love to do. So I feel like I can like chameleon into like whatever they want to do. But you do. didn't like. But it. it was not something that I was naturally gravitating towards. Yeah. You were right. yes anding. Yeah, I'm yes anding her, and I'm yes anding her hard. No pun intended. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll put a baby in you. Oh, I want to come in you and all that. But you didn't like it. You were okay with I it. I got it. I, at first, I was like, this is odd, but I'm glad she likes it. And then, of course, because Pavlov's dog, like, I start to get, you know, like, it starts to get kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining you being, like, so into it because she likes it. She's like, oh, yeah, put your sperm on my egg. And you're like, I don't know if we can afford college for this kid. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have another kid. <laughs> um, that's let's so do funny. It. Let's just get a dog this time. I can't handle it. Wouldn't it be funny if I were like, I gotta pull out. <laughs> oh my god! I bet, I bet uh, she would have come so hard if you did that. <laughs> right? Oh my yeah, god! I'm so true, glad I'm retelling this story because I think it's funnier than the last time. <laughs> but so then, here comes the funny, the weird part about it. This Not, is the weird part. Here comes the weird. Part. This is the weird part. Yeah, okay. This is the weird part. All right. So at the time. I'm like trying to figure out like how I want to present as a lesbian. Okay. I'm really having trouble deciding how I want to dress, my masculinity, my femininity, like all of that. And I really wanted pants that made me feel masculine but fit my body. Hmm. So I had like a thousand tabs open <laughs> searching for how trans men bought pants. Like what brands <laughs> were flattering but masculine. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see where this is going. Yeah. And also, I don't know why, but at the time, I do this really killer Elvis impression. I believe you, and I don't need to see it. (laughs) I'm so glad. I believe you. Perfect Perfect response. Perfect response. Because everyone wants me to do it. No, I don't need to see that. Thank you. I played the Pharaoh in Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat in the eighth grade. And that he's like Elvis. That's like the thing. So my Elvis impression is very good. And I don't know why I was doing it for her, but I was doing it for her. (laughs) Okay, just a a little bit. Just a little taste. (laughs) Let me just see what you no. mean by good. Young me, no! no. Kate's like, please, no! You're all going to get secondhand embarrassment. It's going to be so cringe. I like, don't want to see Even if I it. fucking nail it, you're going to be like, it's weird that you can do that. Anyway. Also, nobody needs to be doing that anymore. <laughs> no. Who cares about Elvis, man? I'm with we you. We need a new person to but be But between the breeding, the pa- she sees the pants in my tabs. Uh-uh. She hears the Elvis impression. <laughs> she is fully convinced <laughs> that I'm trans and closeted. <laughs> And she confronts me about it <laughs> I love in the that. most thoughtful way. Oh, the Elvis impersonation sweet. is what really. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very deep voice. <laughs> All right. So then what happened? I, you're like, no, I don't want. You're the one that right. wanted me to. You're the one. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Exactly. Like, and you don't want to kink shame. And also. The more violently you react to someone suggesting, the more it seems like denial. The, the more it seems like denial. <laughs> so we had to have a conversation where I was like, "No, I was just looking for pants, and I, I just do a great impression, and I'm not yet an artist, and I feel stifled in my creativity. Let me have my Elvis impression." Wait, I'm just imagining her being like, "You're in denial," and you crack back into Elvis and Sparrow, and you're just like, "Denial is a river in Egypt." <laughs> 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 like, like trying to escape the conversation <laughs> you're fucking brilliant that was brilliant where were you kate where I were you when we there. needed you i should have been there i needed my friend <laughs> oh i would have been my. like wait let me take a look at these pants <laughs> <laughs> these are great um That's wow so yeah but wait did she end up believing you or yeah, was she what? still like do you think till the end she was like yeah, what was the I dynamics? I have a feeling I would not be shocked if she was like, I'm surprised you haven't transitioned yet. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked. Because sometimes people believe their little beliefs yeah. and they just won't let them go. You yeah. know what I mean? That's a big one, though. I feel That's like a if big your partner one. is like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trans. <laughs> it's just so, she's so radically accepting. She's also been with a number of trans men, non-binary people. So like, I think that signs. is a little bit of a type for her. Mm. Oh, interesting. Very masculine yeah. folks. Mm. 
So that's my gay section. Wow. This week. Nice. Wow. I'm glad you told it again. Yeah. Yeah. I think I told it better this time. I'm sorry. It was so long. <laughs> it was no, I was for some reason. It gave me so much anxiety when you started your story. I was like, I don't know where this is going. I need to know where it's going. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know what that was. about. I really so like I to feel... try and make people as uncomfortable as possible. OK. <laughs> I was picking up on that. I was like, I don't like the journey. I want to be at the destination. <laughs> but it was it was great. Listener, don't forget to support the Patreon. Patreon.com slash WHGS. That's how we pay Alex. He is a full-time employee of the podcast. We could not pay him on ads alone. That's how we pay Kate. And of course, me also. This is full-time work. So please consider going and donating. And in return for those donations, you get bonus episodes. You get comped tickets when i'm in your city um you get extended unfiltered uncut episodes um weekly access to my zoom stream of my show in new york and lots of other stuff patreon.com slash whgs listener do not miss me when i'm in your city i know you miss my tiktoks and my instagram posts and sometimes you skip podcast episodes i'm only in town once a year so let me text you once a year when i'm in town or i can email you ashleygavin.com there's gonna be 25 cities on this tour don't miss your city and listener go support kate they are starting their regular show the lucas spectacular it's a comedy show drag variety music all kinds of great things go check it out union hall in brooklyn thursday may 26th at the kate sis go check it out thursday may 26th listener Listeners, stop writing in to ask me what my skincare routine is and start writing in to be like, hey, is your skin so good because you get a great night of sleep? Yeah, I look like a teenage boy, listener, because I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I sleep on the best mattress that there is. I get a good night of sleep every night. I truly mean it. A lot of you guys think I'm lying about the Helix, but it is a great mattress. I've had it for almost two years now. I absolutely love it. It's so nice to know when I get home that I'm, I'm going to be able to curl up in my Helix. You know, when I'm on the road sometimes, I don't know what kind of mattress I'm going to get, and it's a little nerve-wracking, you know? One of the reasons that the Helix is so good is because it's based on a personalized quiz that I took at their website, helixsleep.com. Two minutes, I put in everything that I need as a sleeper, how I sleep, like what position I sleep in, uh, what position sexually I'm going down on women in, all of those things, and it spat out the perfect mattress for me. So go take the quiz order it. It comes right to your door, shipped in a box. You don't even have to go to the store. They have a 10-year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. And they have financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. Okay. 12,000 five-star reviews for this thing. All right. Listener, I know you're U-Hauling. So don't fight with your girly or your guy or your partner about what kind of mattress you're going to get. Take it from me. I'm alone, and I sleep well despite that because I got a Helix mattress. And right now, Helix Sleep is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash gaysex. This was a chaotic Helix Sleep ad, but I know you know the point. The point is that this mattress is the best. Go, go, go. Helixsleep.com slash gaysex. Get out of here. Listener, do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. I just caught one the other day, okay, because I'm a Truebill user, and I have been since before I started this podcast. It's always catching, catching those subscriptions that I don't really think that I signed up for, or at least I don't remember signing up for them. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. That is nuts because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in just one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so that you don't have to. And it makes sure that I'm not subscribing anymore and I'm not wasting my money. You know that feeling of wasting your money on a product that you don't use. Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. Just like Jeb D, good old Jeb who said, I saved at least $1,000, and Truebill team does all the work. I have an alarming number of subscriptions. Truebill gives me complete visibility, and I have power over all of it. Jed's got an alarming number of subscriptions, and I know you do too. So go get Truebill, okay? It's going to help you save some cash. Don't fall for subscription scam, listeners. Start canceling today at Truebill.com Ashley. 
Go right now. Truebill.com slash Ashley. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash Ashley. Stick it to the man. Young me, did you have gay sex this week? Not this week. I didn't have sex this week. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> it's, um, did I? No, of course I didn't. I don't really, I'm not really having a lot of sex these days. Me neither. Isn't that weird? It, it, well, it's weird <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you losers, but I'm. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I mean, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I did, ha- I, would, I did think about a gay sex story while you were telling your story, though. Yeah, let's Because when you were saying about the tripping and just like out of nowhere you'll just sleep with someone and it just works and you're yeah. like why is this working I it's don't almost know. the worst because like especially if you know nothing's gonna happen with this person you're like yeah or when you're like i don't want to date this person anymore yeah but I, I'm, I'm coming over right now um <laughs> yeah. i've had a number of people like that in my life yeah and it's a lot of it's so strange because like a lot of times there'll be somebody that you're not even like necessarily that attracted to like you're dating and not that like you know i'm dating people that i'm not attracted to obviously i'm attracted to them if i'm dating them but it's like all the because i feel like it's a piece of like all these other pieces you know when you see someone and like sex is just one of those pieces that literally has like no rhyme or reason you know what i mean Mm. (laughs) right Mm -hmm. like how did you feel about this tripping person like like did you feel strong about them yeah i did okay Uh, but i also have like been so weirdly like, attracted to people yeah that like if you showed me a photo of them yeah i wouldn't be like oh they're so beautiful or they're so this or that but i there have i don't know if it's pheromones or what but there are people that i've met where i'm like i just have to get you pregnant <laughs> In, i don't care like i don't care if we can we can't afford it sweetie yeah. i'm sorry that was my that was my no uh, boston town i don't know what that, that was, was like, perfect like, like a it. dad that has nine kids accent <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's put another bun in the oven i don't know no that's great oh that was so bad i'm why so you, no, fucking embarrassed I keep liking it. why do people think that you're white i don't know <laughs> i don't know you know i have this joke i just remember we live i'm gonna get back to my story but i have this joke about being half white i'm like no one can ever tell that i'm half white until they see me kissing my dog on the mouth then <laughs> they're like all right i get it i see it now that's i see great. it that's great i do i get really in there it's <laughs> I, so you I feel know. about your dog the way that I'm talking about these people. That yeah. I'm, yeah. Well, no, the, uh, the story that I'm going to like tell. Like I'm attracted to them, but I don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Like, OK, the way that I feel about sex is like, yeah, it's like sometimes it's not even about attraction. Like I can be like so in love with someone and like the sex is like fine. Yeah. But then there's like some people that you the feelings are just like, hmm. And then the sex is just like, you know what I mean? For yeah. sure. And so I was just thinking about somebody that I used to sleep with and they like they were just just the sexual chemistry was just off the fucking charts and like all those things i don't i'm gonna be very vague because i don't want this person to be like like i wasn't <laughs> necessarily they they like them pronouns there's a very good chance that they're listening right now <laughs> blocked on everything it's okay um <laughs> So, um, so it was like, it wasn't necessarily like I had that deep, like emotional connection with them. I didn't have that deep of like a physical, I was attracted to them, but it wasn't just like, you know, like, (sighs) but like the sex was just like insane. I remember one time, like I showed up and I literally was just like, they were sitting on the couch and I just like sat, I was just like on top of them. We were making out and I came so hard. Are you serious? All my clothes on, all their clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Just, I, that's the hardest I want, I've ever come in my life. I want this superpower that you two have. <laughs> but I, yeah, and I'm, now I'm like just chasing the dragon, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> what? I want that again, but I don't know, like, I, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, how do I get that again? And why know. was it with this person? Yeah. And what was why it? Why do you, you know? Blo- Sorry. What? Why do you have to block them on everything? Because of their personality. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if you're listening. If you don't Maybe even that's know what if it was. You. Your body was, was like, about to we say. gotta come quick so we can get out of here. They're gonna or start maybe- talking any minute. Hurry. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't do this again. <laughs> oh God. It's just the terror of spending time with them made your clit explode. They're going to talk about a boat. I know they're going to talk about a boat. They're, they complain about their job so much and their fucking <laughs> shitty boss. And I was just like, I I know. like I was just like, oh my, please stop talking about your fuck. I was like, just quit. 
<laughs> just like, it's so bad. Just quit. It's not. It's like it wasn't even people? paying that much. I was like, you can just you can literally just go like fucking work at the cafe for a week. Yeah. Until you get another. Just fucking quit. My God. <laughs> I literally. That's. I'm not even joking. That's why I broke up with them. Like I was like. <laughs> Can you imagine how bad the how bad these job stories were that I gave up <laughs> right. coming and with my clothes on? <laughs> Can you imagine? Just how if you're listening, I I I, I think that this miserable. person moved away, so they I think they don't have this job anymore. Thank God. <laughs> thank goodness. I'm, I'm happy for you. Can you imagine how bad these stories were? <laughs> <laughs> it was just like i can't even Wait, so then after you came with your clothes on then you would have sex naked after? you would just have sex for forever yeah for you sure know? yeah 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 and, yeah and, hours then, and, and hours. it was also one of these th- situations where i was so into the sex that i think i was like not I, i'm sorry I, i'm not to joke about this but i was like almost harassing them do you know what i mean like i was just like <laughs> let's have sex <laughs> like you know shut I up felt, shut up shut up shut up i work shut up i work, felt shut up, you turned into yeah. a man no i felt like predatory i don't i'm pretty sure that if that was true they would tell me like please calm down or whatever <laughs> yeah. like yeah but i was just like this is sex time like you know like <laughs> I felt like I was fully bothering them. There were there were times that they're just like like looking tortured. Like okay, I'm coming. maybe that's like, why they were complaining about their boss because they weren't doing their job. Yeah, they were fucking so tired, you constantly just for dark hours. circles, just like on the computer, just like their boss is like screaming at them. They're trying to confide in you over it, and you're just like sex now, sex now, shut up. No, I no, I wasn't. I'm I'm very I'm I'm exaggerating, but it was yeah. It was, yeah it wasn't it gonna work out like and it was like a trimming situation mm-hmm. there was trimming yes there was all sorts of that and there was a little bit of uh well this is like another i was thinking about another sex story um this was like this, so i was having sex with somebody that had a penis and this is this reminded me of your story we would do this thing where it was like soft penis in the v p and v and the suction thing would happen mm. seriously and it would not get hard i don't know for multiple reasons but it was very good for both of us. Nice. Like I was just like, oh, like do you not like and and he was just like, oh, this is like amazing. This is really amazing. And I, I, I've never experienced this. And I was trying to talk. And I was like talking to people about it. I was like, have you ever done this thing? And like no one straight people. I, I've only talked to straight people about it. But well, I also asked my friend who's gay and sleeps with men, obviously. But then I was like, have you done that? And he was like, I've never heard of that. Or I've never done it. Maybe he's heard of it. I don't want to pry, so just tell me straight up no, and we can cut it. But was this a person who was transitioning? No. No. Ah, Right? That's so fascinating to me. I know, and I think it's really interesting because I... Let's right in about your soft penis. I just assumed that that was a thing. But then I asked my friends about it, and no one has experienced maybe it's just my have friends, you googled but- on Pornhub yet no I should look well it makes me but kind of it was sad a suction that that person thing. was like this is this is amazing this is incredible because it seemed like nobody wanted to like do that thing with them yeah well I don't I don't even think it occurred to him to do it we just oh, ended up doing yeah. it yeah s- for some reason and yeah. it was just like really well, I love the that suction like the, thing the, the suction thing happened. of queer people in bed yeah, can yeah. benefit someone who is totally <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah. I definitely feel like because this person is straight and I'm like yeah yeah you you think you're done because you jizzed in like 14 minutes and that's the end of the night right but little do you know little do you know I'm a harasser <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's more sex time me i'm a little like sex goblin troll i do not leave people alone i'm like so you're like learning how to fuck soft dicks yeah i'm like no it's gonna i'm gonna do it i i made it happen and it worked it sounds good to me I should, did I this person talk come? about this well they had come they had come camed i don't know <laughs> come on come on then they had before but then not during the soft penis sex yeah oh and then for a while i was calling it gentleman penis sex which i think is really funny i think that's funny (laughs) gentleman penis give me that gentleman (laughs) penis and we like polite 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 peen and then we would just do it for a long time and it was it was very like it's like almost reminding like, me of having sex with somebody with a vulva. You yeah. know, it's very similar to that. Yeah. Sort of rubbing it's soft, soft and nice. Yeah. Which yeah. I, I, I like and polite, that texture. <laughs> I texture is weird. No, I like I, that I sensation yeah, the, in sex. Like I like the soft genital feeling. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I yes. I know. Like I, that's some, I yeah. love vulvas. Yes. That's with why my I, whole heart. <laughs> that's I feel like that is, you know, obviously 
what I like in having sex with people with vulvas and probably why I've had such better sex maybe because I like that mm. texture is texture the right word here I think here? so yeah texture? I think so just feels weird just saying feel. texture yeah. <laughs> okay Alex texture. you take this Soft into your texture. next hookup don't get hard oh under any circumstances. I'm gonna get. No, will no, you try it, harassing. Alex? This you is, need is to. Yeah, you're harassing. Stop. <laughs> I was I was joining in and I was like, no, stop. <laughs> How dare you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's got. I hope Alex and I hope people know that Alex and I have a very funny, playful on camera relationship. I hope people off camera. I've never talked about Alex's penis. <laughs> I hope that straight man. <laughs> I hope, or straight, or, you know, like, I don't, me, like, people who have penises try this. Because I agree. Yeah, I think you should try it. It reminds, you not might that like it's, it. like, foreplay, but, like, it's, like, the whole thing with, like, you just do, like, adventurous, weird stuff. I feel like lesbian, queer, whatever type of sex is, can be so great because you're just trying all these different things because there's muffin no tops. You're muffin topping. <laughs> You know, you're you're rubbing on parts that you never thought would be involved, but there yeah, they and are. Then it works. Yeah, and then it works. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, how did I get her pregnant? <laughs> and then somebody's <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, don't you think it's probably because most straight men would never even think of trying that? Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. of the script. Yeah, and but then like this person was like enjoying it very much, and he was like, "This is like," so, and he was just like. This is so weird. And yeah, I was like, it's not that weird, okay? It's P and V. Come on. I uh, like, <laughs> I I scissored a guy's hard dick once. Ooh, we couldn't have full blown sex, so I scissored a guy's hard dick, and I I and I'd never had. This was like the most advanced sexual thing I'd ever done at the fun time. To me. And within thirty seconds, you need to get off because I'm gonna come. And I was like, thank God I didn't have actual sex with you. Like it would have been ten seconds. Like are you joking? But maybe there was something even more erotic about maybe. the non the yeah. suspense of it all. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I feel like have you hooked up with people that like have had a uh, very religious backgrounds? Yes. I feel like that's a big thing in that community. Because mm. I feel oh, like I've yeah. hooked up with yeah, a yeah, few yeah. people that have like grew up really like somebody that I slept with told me about the story where they're like you know they had the whole thing like the we soaking. have to be virgin soul marriage yeah, 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 yeah. soaking like, and all that stuff. wait were were you a teen when you did that or yeah. were you young well I, I was, was gonna say young, something yeah. oh I was gonna say isn't it so sad like teen moms and like teen girls that get pregnant you know they got pregnant from like four seconds of sex yeah <laughs> And, ruin and that's their, the saddest part. Ruin their entire <laughs> lives. No, 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 no. The sad Over part. Over no orgasm. Ruin Four seconds their entire of sex. Entire <laughs> lives <laughs> for nothing. Just chat. <laughs> Four seconds later, you're living in a fucking duplex, right? Oh, it's so sad. I so no, so no sad. bang for your baby. <laughs> and then you know, like that that like statistic that straight women. I think it's up to 80% of them have never had an orgasm during during okay. penetrative sex. Up to like 30% of straight women have never had an orgasm. And I'm is like, is it really at 30? Oh. I think it's 30. It's something really high. I sw- high. I know it's 30. I, I like looked it up recently because wow. on our podcast, we had a woman that had never had an orgasm, even with masturbating. Interesting. And she was 30 years old. And she told me that she numbers. needs Remy's podcast. Remy Casimir. How come? Oh, is that a coming podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna tell her. Yeah, yeah, you should. But Um, yeah, well, we're gonna go to Kate, who might be talking about tripping on a hard dick. I don't know. (laughs) You know how sometimes you trip over a hard dick. (laughs) (laughs) That story doesn't have legs. Just one hard hard dick. dick. (laughs) (laughs) Did you have gay sex this week? Okay, my gay sex is fresh, Uh, (gasps) and (laughs) and it's great. Also, an embarrassing one. Chelsea and I the other day were. Uh, oh, I love that when you start to twist away, <laughs> when you start facing the kitchen, my body language. I is know you it's gonna be a real good. It's one. gonna be really good. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. I'm ready. You I'm also getting cake. so anxious again. I don't know. What- Chelsea and I were <laughs> were visiting. Where Chelsea and I were at my family's house, and uh, you know we had been we'd been drinking a bunch. We don't often have uh, drunks sex that that much anymore like we might have a couple of glasses of wine or whatever but we were drunk and it was the first time in a long time that we had been like messy drunk and we were like let's let's have sex but we had to be really quiet and so we were like trying to be really quiet and we were fooling around and then she like wanted to put 
the dildo in me and I was like yeah let's do it but I wasn't thinking clearly because there had not been enough foreplay so when she tried to put the dick into me with no lube I just went "Uh!" (laughs) like a hog like (laughs) just truly like a barnyard animal (laughs) just immediately and then she was like and I was like shh 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 we had to be quiet we had to be quiet but we were both still so like drunk and hyped up that we kept going <laughs> your parents are like are you okay in there we're <laughs> like, just like she's having some problems with her butthole so yeah. <laughs> sounds like you like we're installing an air they conditioner a- <laughs> what's going <laughs> they got a colonoscopy recently it's probably what that is <laughs> so for some reason or being foolish That's just Kate mounting a TV yeah <laughs> <laughs> we we bring foolish we continue past the full blown honk that I made <laughs> and uh <laughs> so we keep going and and we're sloppy and we're drunk and we're <laughs> gay so we're doing crazy shit so I'm like fingering her while I'm sucking on the dildo <laughs> And I get a little too zealous. Kate, and I I'm take so I I'm take so proud of you. <laughs> Why I yeah. Is this, this is your raunchiest story. I don't often tell raunchy stories, but this one I got permission to tell and I <laughs> So I I'm sucking on the dildo and I'm a little too sloppy and I take a little bit too much of it down the throat. Oh no. And I choke hard. <laughs> And the force of the choke yes. pushes the biggest fart yep. I've ever had yep. out of my ass. <laughs> Blood this, everywhere. I swear, this sounds like a 1930s, like, <laughs> like, like those, like, Laurel and Hardy, like, like, <laughs> Paul slips on a banana peel. <laughs> and then I farted really. <laughs> the fart almost as loud as the noise I made. <laughs> And so we like pause and I look up at her. And she's like, Is she? She's horrified. She's all of a sudden uh, dead sober. <laughs> she looked at me and we just have this moment and we look at each other. And then I start laughing. With the, and I with keep the cock farting. In your mouth. <laughs> I like how the force of the laugh is forcing farts yeah, yeah. out and it just won't stop. And we're both <laughs> laughing so fucking hard. And we were like laughing so hard that we like could not continue to laugh. Sex. I love laughing during and sex. Also, laughing is so loud Me in too. terms of trying to be quiet in a yeah, house. Yeah. Laughing is like very loud. And no when you're trying not you to it. laugh, you laugh. Yeah, you louder. laugh even it's more. Worse. So we basically just like kind of fell. Were you laughing, laughing with the dick in your mouth? No, no. I took, I took that. Out. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? There was like a stand-up comedian who I think it's maybe i have like the worst memory it might have been someone i saw on tv but it might have been like one of our friends <laughs> that she was like using the dick like a mic or something <laughs> and then the the guy broke up with her she was I like is this thing on a- <laughs> or something like that i think that's an open micer okay okay not an open mic that's like, rude but like, not a i don't uh, think that's uh, one, one of our friends i feel like i feel like i've seen that that's why I that's think it's funny. not a special. I think I, <laughs> yeah, laughing during sex is funny. It's so funny. I also so love funny. that farting during sex is really funny, too. <laughs> I think it can be an oh opportunity my. for bonding. So this is the thing about <laughs> farts. If they're loud, I'm totally fine with that. Yeah. Stinky, they're mortifying. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm gonna, I can't, I can't live with myself. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> that's funny. It's cute. It's yeah. like, oh, look, I farted. I'm a full fart embracer. <laughs> if someone has like a stinky fart, no, whether sex or not, I'm like under the covers in their butt. No. Be- what? Because it no. makes them laugh. Oh. It like diffuses. Uh, no, no you pun intended. You Dutch oven yourself? Yeah. I, it just diffuses the <laughs> oh, entire, no. I don't the know. The entire thing. Yeah. I will do anything to diffuse a fart situation. <laughs> I will fart myself. I will be like, it's stinky, but I will make jokes about it. I won't be like, mm, 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 no one farted. Like, it's like, I'll be like, you farted. <laughs> we, you did it. At this point, we're, if, if we have a smelly fart, both of us will react as if we've been like shot. Like, you know, you, somebody farts and you sit there and you're like, ha ha. And then the smell hits you and we will just like full on be like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> we just like full blown react to smelly farts. At this point. I was going to ask you before you finish the story. If when she choked you with the dildo <laughs> so hard <laughs> that you farted, if she felt more empowered. 
<laughs> like, oh, this is hot. I I hit the back. Or I hit her uvula, and that somehow you hit the colon. Them, made, it was yeah, like I a hit Rube the Goldberg machine of air. <laughs> Ping, bah, boom, bah, boom, boom, <laughs> what sort of? Can you describe the dildo? What sort of dildo? It's uh, it's not a realistic looking to, one. Yeah, it's just like a piece of like black rubber, and it's thin too. Have you ever had a in depth dildo discussion on this podcast? We've discussed various ones. Like I tried to put the double one in me. You should. We've have- talked about we've dild- dildos have come up many times, but we've never had like. Oh, a, and we talked to a, to Anna about the should, smart dildos. We talked about a smart sex dildo. toy episode. No, I would want. I would want to hear. That feels like it requires preparation. <laughs> Some lube, yeah, perhaps <laughs> some foreplay, <laughs> some foreplay, yeah, um, yeah. We had a uh, Anna Lee. I don't know if you. Oh, you should have her on your Anna podcast. Lee. She in- invented these smart dildos, what? smart oh, vibrators. So you see is she Asian? Orgasms. Yes, she's and Asian. They're like shaped she's like Korean. dumplings or something. No, no, no. no. They, they. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What if I just said okay. this? Heinously. <laughs> Wait, listen. What if okay, I said listen, the most heinously listen, racist thing I listen. could possibly? Wait, yeah, it's invented the- by a Korean, so all of them look <laughs> like uh, chopsticks. Actually, listen, to, listen. So I am all for Asian people, <laughs> and you know, creating uh, products and becoming wealthy, yeah. and you know, Asian representation <laughs> and putting their little spin on capitalism and pro, you know. <laughs> I putting their little fucking little doodles on whatever. <laughs> little doodles. But there is a fucking. Oh. Did it wait? There this, is a. This, fuck, to be clear, this is not Anna. This is not our. Oh, it's a real this thing. Is, there is a fucking sex toy company owned by <laughs> Asians, obviously, and they're like clit suckers or something, and they're fucking shaped like dumpling <laughs> soup dumplings or something <laughs> and i just feel like that's internalized if you racism them, does it does it fill up probably it's like you squeeze it it's like no 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 i don't think so <laughs> oh okay no, we don't need that kind of fucking representation <laughs> we don't need that i just i'm upset why why was why I is did that the thing? I actually invented a dildo shaped like a potato after my Irish ancestors. There you go. I was going to say there it reminds go. me of the like country girls make do. We don't uh, Oh my god. What? Asian girls make We don't need a fucking soup dumpling shaped <laughs> clit sucker for I Stop don't know. Asian hate. Like shut up. No. Stop Asian hate. <laughs> Hashtag come, stop percent. Asian hate come in this dumpling. Ten yeah. percent of the sales this month go to stop Asian. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's so, we don't need that. Okay, uh, if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. You're you're well, right, and you should. Anna do Lee it. invented a vibrator. <sighs> okay, but it's smart. That, it's like it's on your a smart phone. vibrator. Shape. It looks it's like okay, okay. your standard <laughs> rabbit based vibrator, and you control it with your phone. Can you, you control See, it, and it reads the data. Asians in tech. That I love that. Women in tech too. Women in tech. That's fine. It Just, shows. It shows you, and you can plug different info into it. Where like, if you've been drinking, or if you tried like yeah, yeah. CBD it tracks your, or something. Your oh, orgasm. It shows data. you like nice. what yeah. makes you come better. She's fan- You should absolutely have her on the pod. She's great. Anna Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. she's like I a scientist, but she's fucking Sorry. hysterical, like a comedian. I yeah. love I love Asian sex workers and I love having them on the podcast because it is you know it is to be clear she's not a sex worker well, oh no no I know I'm sorry yeah, 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 yeah like se- no I'm sorry I, I you're right that was I'm thank you for clarifying like just people doing sex stuff even the dumpling person yeah. <laughs> because I feel like the yeah Asians are supposed idiot. to say even the dumpling I'm, pr- I'm proud of you <laughs> for making a, a dumpling shaped clit sucker Oh if god! I get, if I get pushback on this, if I get like Ashley Gavin, no, 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 just forward your emails to me. I will fight all of you. I'm just joking. I'm Asian. I can say it. Like how Ashley can make fun of Subarus or whatever. <laughs> yep. Um, I have a, I, I actually just put a car right up my pussy when I. There, just, there you go. <laughs> just a cr- cross. No, I, I was just saying. I love. I love Asian people that do things like that because it is like st- stigmatized. Maybe s- some somehow maybe a little bit more than other cultures, but it is yeah. still stigmatized. So I, I love talking to people who do things like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I was just thinking? Speaking of sex toys and inventing them, you know how there's did you like just invent a sex yes, toy? I did. You know how there's like um like a flashlight or pocket pussy for for people with penises, and it like is shaped like a vulva, and there's like different colors, a and vulva different shaped sucker. shapes of vulvas that you can have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What if there was a a dildo 
where at the end it's that same appearance and feel so that you can scissor your sex toy with penetration. What? Wait, I, I'm lost. It's what? a happened? vulva on top of a dick? A yes. vulva on top? Oh, oh. So it's like, here's right. the vulva and here's like a, a pole coming out of it. And yeah. so that when you get to the base of it, you are scissoring, oh, like you're scissoring. the fake vulva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I like that texture. Right? Best All right, of soft. both worlds. Go patent it. Go That's make smart. a million That's dollars, That's actually really Kate. smart. I'm going. We, I'm gonna go straight after <laughs> this to the patent Anna? office. <laughs> right. Can My, you imagine walking into the U.S. patent office? <laughs> you're like, a dick and a vulva at the same time. <laughs> you have like a I, drawing on a My napkin. Has some <laughs> so you're scissoring it <laughs> while it's penetrating. <laughs> My, security's like <laughs> escorting you out my grand my grandfather is a retired biochemist and he has all these patents for like can make skin it. things <laughs> yeah and, and he said that he loved the science but then sometimes the company would make him go around and like sell it to investors to kind of be like here's why it works and here's why it's cool and i can just imagine myself being like hey papa i gotta patent myself and now i gotta go around and sell it to these suits <laughs> Can you come give me some advice? And then it's just a penetrative pussy. That's the name right there. <laughs> penetrative Penetra- pussy. Penetra- the penetrating pussy. I feel like you're onto something. I feel like people would be into that. And you could be onto something as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, I'm doing great already. Yes. I think you should go for it. <laughs> All right. Um, where can people, butt plugs, where can people find you? Oh, yeah. Butt plugs? Oh, I thought we were still talking about the sex toys. <laughs> it's true. I like butt plugs. There's a third thing on yours. <laughs> the wraparound. On the other side. Little wraparound butt plug. <laughs> wraparound butt plug? I'm so lost. I don't know how it would work. It wouldn't. Yeah. Um. Oh, where, can, where can people find me? They can yeah. find me on social media, YM Mayor, TikTok, Young Me Mayor. Po- my podcast is Feeling Asian Podcast. You can find that everywhere. You can listen, listen to I don't everywhere. care if you're not Asian, you old piece of shit. Go listen. It's good. We, we talk about discussions. Good, good old fashioned abuse a lot. That was a throw. That was a what's that called? Callback. Callback to mean mugging. <laughs> yeah, we do talk about abuse a lot, but in a funny way. And young me so funny. I'm sure that she yeah. is. Do you prefer she or they? Or do you want me to alternate? I I don't have a preference. Cool. Yeah. Sometimes people will write in and be like, "I noticed you didn't alternate pronouns for the guest on your show." Um, just so you know, I I typically I try to tune into things like that and. If you're hearing me use a pronoun and they list multiple pronouns, I, I probably ask that person what they prefer. Pronouns are so interesting, you know, like, because I, I know it's, I don't know why people get so, sen- you know, like those weird Republican people get so sensitive about it. But it like, it's a, it's interesting, I think, to process that digestion of your own identity, mm, if that mm, makes sense, yeah. through someone else's lens. Yeah. yeah. It's like the race thing, you know? Yeah. Mm. It's it gets so altered. Anyway, sorry, I was, was like smiling. no, it's good. No, I think that's, that's what this is for. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you for being here. Go follow Young Me. Go follow Kate. Ew. Follow me. I know some of you don't. <laughs> I know Do because I can see don't? the numbers and I know how all this is working. <laughs> Do you think they listen to your podcast and not follow you? Some I know for a fact some of them don't. Wow, it just doesn't cost you anything and it helps us so much. Look at me berating them. Thank you for being here. I think you're great. <laughs> You, you little dumpling. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so mad. I gotta let this go. Okay. Listener, this, this podcast is not possible without our Patreon. Patreon.com slash WHGS. This podcast is truly not possible on ads alone. On ads alone, I would still need some other day job to keep this thing running. Okay? It just doesn't work. We need you and you can pay as little as a dollar a month for free content. You get live streams of my comedy. You get bonus episodes. Patreon.com slash WHGS. And it, 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 we're not a corporation. It goes right to us. And then also come see me on tour. And now, a gay thought. I'm eating a sandwich right now. No, we're not. I feel like you have to... I feel like you have to ask for consent to do ASMR. But... If I do ASMR... Is it gay ASMR? Whoa. Uh Uh-oh. Someone didn't write a joke for the gay thought this week. And so they're just eating a sandwich.